You are now watching, by the minute, where we highlight unsolved, unidentified and missing cases across the nation. Today we head to, Mississippi. Waveland, Mississippi. November 29, 2015. In the early morning hours between 3 to 4 a.m. Jason Duffy would be met with unknown intruders who kicked down his front door at his home located on Dick Street. The suspects would enter Jason's home, shoot him multiple times in the head execution style. Jason would be transported to the hospital where he would succumb to his injuries. Authorities believe that Jason was targeted and the shooting was drug-related. The suspects were caught on surveillance walking towards Jason's home around 3.36 a.m. They were later seen running away minutes after the gunfire. Watch this video of the suspects to see if they look familiar. Police say that more videos may be released as the investigation moves forward but until then help us get these ruthless criminals off our streets and behind bars. Submit tips to Waveland Police or Crime Stoppers. Leakesville, Mississippi. August 23, 1987. Edith Hillman, 59, at the time would be reported missing and being abducted from her home Sunday afternoon in 1987. Police would find Edith's car, a blue four-door 1979 Toyota Corolla parked in the front parking lot of Forest's General Hospital in Hattiesburg. Police would also discover blood in her back seat. Authorities believe Edith was taken against her will and at this time few details are available about this case. Edith Hillman, 59, at the time would be reported missing and being abducted from her home Sunday afternoon in 1987. Edith has a caesarean scar, pierced ears, and she speaks with a German accent. If you have any tips about this case please contact Green County Sheriff's Office. Lauderdale, Mississippi. June 14, 1997. The partial remains of an unidentified Jane Doe would be discovered in a blue quilted sleeping bag in an open area near an intersection. Examiners have determined our Jane Doe to be a white female between the ages of 25 to 35, 5 feet 3 inches and 125 pounds with brown hair and highlights. She was found wearing a Harley Davidson tank top, a plaid flannel, light-colored jogging pants, a leather necklace with a dream catcher and a gold necklace with a green stone attached to it. At this time, we do not have pictures available of our Jane Doe but her identity can come to the light with tips from our community. Someone out there is missing their family member and together, we can get answers. That gets us one step closer to justice for our Jane Doe. If you have any tips about the identity of our victim please contact the Mississippi State Medical Examiner's Office. In the state of Mississippi the chances of being a victim of a violent crime are 1 in 394. In a year, Mississippi's violent crime rate has decreased from 2.9 to 2.4. Mississippi still ranks number two in most dangerous states and has the highest unemployment rate in the country. The best way we can keep our communities safe is by coming together and protecting each other. When one is hurt, we all feel that pain, so together, we all stand. No one is above the law and when people who commit crime know the entire community is bonded together, we help reduce the crime rates. Join our mission in keeping the light on these cases and keeping our communities safe by subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.